Hello and welcome to another 3D printing video. Today I'm going to be testing the limits of my Monoprice Select Mini. I'm going to be testing how fast this thing can go. I took a 5mm cube, put it in the slicer, and I have it sliced for um, 30 millimeters per second, 60 millimeters per second, 80 millimeters per second, and 100. And I'm going to see which one it will fail at, and if it doesn't fail at any, I might start printing at 100 millimeters a second. So let's test out the 60. We'll start with the 60. I usually print at 30, which is actually very slow. I don't really know why I print it so slow. So here's my chance to see how well it can perform at higher speeds and to see if I want to start printing it faster. So I'm going to print it at 60 starting off. Let's do this. Okay, so the 60 millimeter um, per second test block um, printed fabulous. It printed fine. Um, I did realize that five millimeters is a very small test cube, but it shows what my printer can do, and that one pretty, pretty great. So I'm gonna nearly double that speed, and crank it up to 100. Okay, so it finished at 100 millimeters per second, and this is it, right there. I'm gonna do a little bit of a larger test. I'm going to print out a monkey and I'm print it golden because one of my subscribers requested it so I'm going to print it with the test of printing it 120 millimeters per second. Let's see how this goes. It should be about 35 minute print and I'll see if it has any problems and if it doesn't I might start printing at 120 millimeters per second on a regular basis. Let's do this. Okay so the monkey print finished and here it is a tiny little monkey. The layers did a great job um, at 120 millimeters per second so I think this is a great success. You might be able to push it even farther with your own printer so I'd like to see how fast you can get yours going. So you can make a Monoprice select, at least mine, you can go 120 millimeters per second which is pretty fast. Um, I usually print it four times as slower than that. And so, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was informed and help, helpful or anything, please give it a thumbs up. That's super helpful. If you like 3D printing videos, please subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments if you like informative videos, videos where I just print something, or if you're interested in a vlog style, because I'd like to know what you guys think about that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.